the bow! Turn back in power! Forever! Oh yeah! Hey folks, welcome to Day 3 Part 2. If you watched Day 3 Part 1, we made it from this little town of Wakpala, just northwest of uh, Mobridge. And we hit this little road. Uh, this was uh, Rattlesnake uh, Creek Road, I believe. It's a, a line maintenance road. It was hilly, rutted, uh, rocky. It was quite fun. Um, then in, in this video, part two, we're hitting up from high, starting off in Highway 12 here. This is high speed gravel right here. Uh, it's not very well maintained, but uh, it's fun. It's fun. It's scenic. Then we make it to Little Eagle. And I will say about Little Eagle. Uh, there is a little store here. I'll zoom in. It's off Highway 63 on the Standing Rock Indian Reservation. There's food and fuel here. There's premium and regular food, fuel. A little shady area for you to kind of hunker down in out of the heat. And some bathrooms in here. And ultimately, we do make it to Isabel. And we decided to stop in Isabel because we, we initially wanted to make it to Lemon, South Dakota, which was 191 miles. Uh, couldn't do that. Uh, the TW just won't go fast enough to make that kind of speed or that kind of time. So Isabel, we stayed in Isabel, a nice little hotel there, little country hotel. All this stuff is in the grasslands. It's scenic. There is some uh, high-speed gravel here, not very well maintained, some low-maintenance roads. But it was fun, so I hope you enjoyed this video. I will say my audio right here sucked, so uh, I had to chop it up. But let's get on with the video, all right? Later. Off to the little town of Little Eagle, I believe. Is that correct, Ty? Little Eagle is the town? It's got gas, he said? Oh. Travel Highway. I can fly on this stuff. I can do at least 47 miles an hour. Jeez. Got some rush here. Area. Actual trees here. Amazing. How did that happen? These weren't even planted by farmers. Looks like they're just down here. Wow. See five trees in 37 miles, and all of a sudden you got a whole forest on one side of the road. Ah. Yeah, that might just get us in trouble. You know, if it wasn't if it wasn't already three o'clock and we've only gone 41 miles of 191, we better book beyond. Too bad. Yeah, there's a. Uh, Right here, we can either go up ahead, we can go left. Oh, that's the loop game. That looked, yeah, that would have been pretty bad, I guess. This would suck if it was wet. I don't think you could pass through here. One of them. Ah. Here is where you burn clutches up. <laughs> sure. I don't know why it's so beat up right here. There's no farming going on. Unless it's been this way for a long, long time. Out. It's that one little area too. Maybe it's a bunch of kids playing around. That's it. Crazy kids playing around in the mud. Ooh. A little loose and sloppy. 
doesn't look bad, but... Move it around a bit. Okay. Or up ahead. Looks like a, a tractor got stuck up there. Shows you how wet it was throwing mud that far. Hope we don't have 20 miles of this. At least it's hard. Almost like rocks. Mud rocks. It's gonna be okay. I mean, it's a little damp, right? I mean, I suppose that's the damp. Well, you know, I've got these polarized glasses. And it looks wet. I gotta dump these glasses. Oh, tree! We didn't even stop. Right, we didn't stop for that tree. There was a tree there. No shade for the next 50 miles. <laughs> oh, this is fine. See, to me, it looks, even your tracks look wetter than just soft. The, the center is really firm. I think all the, the light, silky stuff going in the, on the side because the center is real hard. Little Eagle and we're heading where Ty? It's going to Isabel where what was the name of that road we're heading? Fire Steel Road. There's a there's a road right there, Ty. Looks like a driveway though. Fire Steel Road. Still on the reservation. There's Little Eagle. We've got 52 odd miles to Isabel, maybe, probably more than that. <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. Well, I'll tell you, folks, sometimes video editing and traveling and all that could get really frustrating. I don't know what happened, but uh, I'm running two cameras here, one front and one rear. And all my front footage going into Isabel, which was some really cool stuff, got lost. It's gone. <laughs> I can't find it anywhere. So we're just going to end up in Isabel. And that's the end of this video. Thanks for watching. Frostbite out. Isabel, South Dakota, population 135. There's a hotel right there. Not sure if we're gonna stay here or keep moving on. We gotta decide. Let's find some shade, Ty. Let's find some shade. <laughs>
sporting goods store right there. That's a happening place. What do we got here? Uh, Lock and Oil. What's this? Community Butte Lock and Oil. That's the gas stations. They got fuel. Let's pull in here, maybe, huh? Go on the back side where they. Where? I was just looking for shade. Uh, you want to just go to the cafe? Well, I'm going to need fuel at some point. Okay. This street, huh? I'll follow you. Beep, beep. It says General Store. Well, it's probably, probably, probably generally have everything. Are you, you want to, let's decide what we're going to do, then we'll decide what we're going to eat, huh? Okay. Uh-oh, what was that? They blew out a bunch of smoke. Let's find some shade. Well, there's the... Well, let's, this is good here because at least there's shade. Isabel or bust. <laughs> there's a yeah, that's it. There's a painting of a couple horses and uh, a wagon. It says Isabel or bust on it. See that? In the window. Automotive company. I wonder if they're actually in business. Looks like they are. Huh? Maybe. Uh, since 1914. I'm gonna take my jacket off. I'm freaking burning up. Okay. Isabel, we're gonna decide whether we're gonna stay in Isabel or not. Or keep going. I'm not sure. It is 4.20 p.m. Gone 84 miles. Uh, had a lot of wasted time today. Tons of it. Whew. Okay.